Hey y'all, it is Hope at Crafty Hope, and you can see here I am working in a Dilutions journal today. Now, there's a lot I want to tell you about this one, and let me start by saying that I was, I don't know, struggling to find some kind of inspiration, but I knew I wanted to play in my journal, so I decided to kind of go monochromatic, and I don't know what told me to pick yellow, but I kind of rolled with it. I I like yellow. I like that it perks up darker colors, but it's not ever been like a focal of a page for me. So maybe that's what it was, is I needed uh, to try something new. I'm not sure, but so I rolled with it. And I started this with uh, some inks. First, that was a Dynaflow ink and... I was thinking it was the sun yellow, but I think it may be the golden yellow and the Dynaflow ink, but those all come in a set, so you would get both if you bought those. I'll have the link to the set below. Um, I have Amazon associate links that if you buy something, I might get compensated. So there's my disclaimer for that. After I dripped down some of that, and y'all see it, it leaked through, which, well, whatever. It is what it is. Once I got that done, I went ahead and um, sprayed on some homemade uh, alcohol ink in yellow, which is just alcohol um, from the dollar store that came in a spray bottle and I put some of the felt tubes from the inside of two or three sets of markers in them and let it sit for um, several days so that the and the the tubes are still in there I believe I don't think I ever took the tubes out so and that's just the yellow that's in there um, I also, because I knew I was probably going to use inks, I did put masking tape down the center of my Delusions journal so that it wouldn't leak, that, that ink wouldn't leak through. And let's see, and that was a Stabilo All Pencil or Marks All in brown that I just did some scribbles on just to add a little bit of texture before I start collaging down um book pages for the most part. I think I was, again, I was trying to keep this kind of monochromatic, so I didn't use a whole lot of pages that had any other colors on them because I was trying to go with the flow of the yellow. Now, what happens with this is I think part of the inspiration for doing monochromatic is I've watched a lot of the, not a lot, but some of the, or had seen some of the videos from Char and um, Claudette, who have been doing a color concepts collaboration. I think they are probably done with it now, but that use of monochromatic colors inspired me somewhat. So I think that's where I was going with that. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you that once I did this, and I loved this monochrome page so much, I decided I'm going to do a little bit of a series following the color wheel around to um to create some journal pages. I, I am going to break it up with other, other journal pages, but I'll create a playlist that's just my color wheel um, inspirations. So I've, I know I've already got done my yellow, green, and then my green. So like I said, I'm working around the color wheel starting with yellow. So, alrighty. So I am getting close to being done I think with this collage I knew also with this one I wanted to keep some white space so this page is kind of just framed up with white spray Ugh. with white space it's it's always been one of my goals to kind of make sure I have lots of white space in pages and some days it works well some days I'm like cover all the stuff <laughs> And um, for this one, I restrained myself and let it go. Um, this last little bit I'm putting down is actually some music paper that has some gold on it, which I felt kind of falls into that, that yellow theme, I suppose. I had tested out some new um, materials, and I think it was that Nouveau Mica Spray that was on there along with some of the expanding mousse, but I think I just got the pieces with the mica spray on it on there. So I've got a little bit of, little sparkle in there with the yellow, but that, it's not in, doesn't end up being a very big deal. So now I'm gonna come in with a couple paints. This first one, as you can see, is kind of an old and gunky. I got it at an estate, no, a yard sale, and it's a Liquitex Brilliant Yellow Cadmium Yellow Medium 
hue. So it's kind of a, a light yellow and I'm just using a paintbrush and um, getting some yellow on top of that collage paper I put on there, helping them kind of meld together and have have a little more yellow to them. So <laughs> you see that? I'm like, just yellow! So yeah, I went a little crazy with that. And then I'm coming in with a Lucas acrylic in Indian yellow. I like this deep yellow color of this one. And I'm just using my finger and going to make some dots. And this is probably one of my favorite parts of this page. All these dots came out um, kind of awesome and just using my fingertips. So I was just doing kind of a scattered pattern with it, making it, giving you some visual texture and movement across this page. I like, I like background texture and I wanted layers of yellow in this. So that's why I kind of went with this one. And then my next, um, Oh, excuse me, my phone's making a crazy noise. Um, oh, that's not the color I thought it was. Um, that's a Master's Touch paint. I'm gonna have to find, let me see, let me grab it real quick if I can. And I'm just making some dashes there real quick. I think that's yellow ochre. I thought it was a deep yellow, but no. That is yellow ochre, which has kind of got a little brown hue to it. So it's, it's just this yellow brown. I'm sure you've seen yellow ochre before. So I'm adding, again, just giving some texture and interest to the background of this, um, playing with the different hues um, of yellow, just trying to see, I don't know, I guess how, how different yellows layer together. So then I grabbed a stash of some old photos that I got from a friend on Instagram. She's a Lopez Art, I believe, and she had some extra black and white photos that she offered to send out and I got I was lucked up and got some so I found this picture of three little girls probably sisters sitting on what looks like maybe the back porch steps and I love this picture so much I could not just put the picture in my journal so I went and copied it real quick on my copier in the other room and it took me a couple tries playing with the light and darkness of it to get uh, so it wasn't too dark and so I finally got that right and I came in and I just tore it down a little bit I wanted the rough edges a little bit so that's where I kept that and then I'm working on some kind of layer to put behind them I've got a piece of fabric of some kind and then some more of that dictionary paper I had used in the collage so you see there, I've got another piece of fabric I'm playing with a little bit, trying to decide if I like it, and um, I decided against it. I really like just that plain, I think it's some muslin there, and I decide to distress the photo a little bit just to give it a little more interest since it is going to be the focal, so it'll pop a bit more, so I'm just framing it with some ink. This is Distress Oxide in Walnut. What is it? Walnut Stain. Ha! Ah! So I put a little bit of that around there, like I said, just to give it interest. And then I wanted, I don't know, I wanted some more yellow in there. So I'm using Wild Honey Distress Oxide around one of that piece of dictionary paper because I wanted, again, I knew I was going to layer it and I didn't think I could get the color on the fabric, but I wanted the yellow there kind of in that stack. And you see, I went all the way around that dictionary paper and really only that little portion of it shows but I really like how that that worked out so yeah it, it was kind of perfect so I'm tearing down that little piece of fabric and making sure it's nice and frayed because you know what's the point of fabric if you don't have it frayed uh, that's you know how I feel about it anyway and I'm gonna dry this all real quick before I try to stick it down and just for a little more texture I've got a pencil. This is just a chunky pencil that I'm coming in and making some like plus sign crosses, whatever you want to call that, across the page in just some little areas so that it's, I don't know, it kind of breaks up some of the yellow elements that are in there just a little bit and adds, adds a ton more texture to this. So I'm happy I tried this. Like I said, I've done a couple other pages. This turned out I don't know. 
so much better than I expected. I don't know if I was just in the right mental space for it or whatever, but I was so excited about it. You can see here, I didn't even grab some with using fabric. I would normally grab my Liquitex matte gel medium to glue that down, but no, I was, I was too excited about this page. I just used my own glue stick that was sitting there to stack these up because it, this worked. The limiting myself a little bit really worked. This, this single color palette. Sometimes I've just got so much I've got so many art supplies, y'all. I've got far too many because I see somebody use something. And I'm like, oh, I want to try that out. And I still don't have as much as some people, but it really works sometimes to just limit yourself to what you're going to use. And I do that with my jewelry making and with art journaling and stuff like this, just to give myself a little extra motivation and inspiration, really inspiration more than anything. So I found a... Oh, I don't even know what it phrase. It says we are fearless, independent, and oh my gosh, hold on, I've got it right here. Why aren't we are fearless, independent, and original? Which I thought was great because it was three things. We've got three little girls sitting there. I broke it up to kind of mimic the stairs that they're sitting on, and then I just used my black Mark's All pencil to put lines underneath to give them a little bit of shadow. I'm going to wet that and that's going to be it for this page y'all. I hope you like this. I felt really inspired by it. I encourage you to limit yourself a little sometimes and see what kind of inspiration that gives you. All right guys, I'm going to go. Make sure you click that thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe and keep on crafting on. Bye.